Hey guys, it's Kirsten with The Daily Beauty Blotter. I'm here today with Allie, our hair and beauty editor, and I need a little bit of help. I have two boys, I'm busy. Truth be told, my hair doesn't normally look like this. I actually put some effort into it today, but most days it's in a ponytail, and it's not a good looking ponytail. So I'm <laughs> here to have Allie show me how to maybe make it look a little bit cuter. Okay, Allie, so um, to start, we have obviously an elastic. We have a couple of bobby pins, obviously blonde ones, and then um, a teasing brush and a comb, and then some products. Okay. So basically, you want to part your hair wherever you like it. Like I know some people don't like it pulled straight back from the front. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to leave Kirsten's part where it is. Yeah, I have this crazy cowlick right here. So whatever, mm -hmm. even if I try to make it go away, it, it doesn't. Won't. So I just have to. So you just want to work with it. Yeah, don't try to fight it. You probably won't win the fight. So. <laughs> I don't. No. So I'm just going to, she had mentioned earlier before we started filming that she likes a little bit of volume in the back. Yes. And I can never get that cute little, like, I just pulled it back and it has a little bit of body and, yeah. you know, that kind of a ponytail. So I'm just, I started at the back of her crown like you normally would when you want a little bit of volume. And I'm just teasing section by section. It doesn't have to be a neat tease. And you can get as much volume as you want. So that's probably good. Let's say this is good. You could make more, you could make less. So when she's got a little bit of volume, just go in and spray it with some hairspray. You don't need a ton. And again, we're gonna leave these pieces out. I'm gonna give her like a mid ponytail, so it's gonna be about the middle of the back of her head. And again, I don't know if you can see exactly where I'm parting, but basically from her ear down, from her ear up, so. so you're leaving like the front. The front out, out. yep. So the, that's so you don't get that super severe mm -hmm. pulled back look. And then you can make this as smooth or as messy chic as you want. I like messy chic. <laughs> and you want to make sure, you, obviously, you don't pull all this volume out, so you want to leave. You might lose a little bit when you put the ponytail in, but I'll show you how to how to pull it back out. So we're gonna take our, our elastic. And I'd say about here is good. Okay, so you're gonna leave that for now. Now, if her hair was wavy or straight, she would get a little more body throughout here, but it's, if it was wavy, not straight. But since it's straight, I'm gonna leave. Do you like your bangs out normally? Yeah. Okay. Give it a little wispy, undone look. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm gonna take these pieces. I'm gonna make them pretty loose. Again, if, if Kirsten said to me, I want a lot of volume, you could tease the front just like we did to the crown of her head. Just give these pieces a little bit of a tease to give her some natural looking volume. I need one of those brushes. Those These are brushes awesome. are awesome. Huh? I love them. I use them for any kind of updo that I'm doing. So then you can make this as neat or as messy as you want. I'm going to leave these pieces down. So I don't know if you can, yeah, if you can turn your, oh, I can turn you just so you can see. So I'm going to take these pieces and I'm going to, I want to cover the elastic because you probably don't want to see the elastic. Um, while we're on the subject of bobby pins, don't open your bobby pins. Keep them closed, just stick it right in. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And just pull that back. And again, cross over that ponytail. So you're crossing it over the elastic. Over the elastic. Mm -hmm. So you can cover the elastic as yeah. much as you want. And if you don't care if the elastic's showing, like sometimes it, people find this hard to do by themselves. Uh -huh. I mean, it really doesn't matter if the elastic is showing. It doesn't make it look bad or anything, but I know some people like it. So again, it doesn't have to be neat since you said you like it a little undone. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna spray this a little bit, nothing crazy. And then, how we said about the volume, see we pulled some of it. Oh my gosh, it's so much cuter so, <laughs> so now you take this brush again. Yep. And uh, just let me know if I hurt you. Um, and you just pull. So when you started teasing, you yeah. just pull that oh, tease back that. out. Oh, yeah, that's great. So you gain that yeah. volume back. You can make as much or as, as little as you want. 
And that's it. And that's it. You didn't have to use I it. I love it. And just use two. That's it. Like I love even it. like it's this, so like cute. it's cute, just like yeah. a longer piece down, or if you wanted to bring that back. And you could even bring the, the volume further up front if you wanted to, but super easy, super quick. And I don't know if you guys can see the back, but we just covered that elastic with her hair, two bobby pins, and she's good to go. Yeah, super easy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I totally do this all week long.